So this is the new login screen. Login is uh, as previously and when you log in you see this new UI here which is completely written in um, GWT which is the Google Web Toolkit. Um, you have here the normal dashboard, the old inventory summary, number of platforms, then we have a thing called Tag Cloud. This is new and we will see later how to use it. We have a welcome portlet, um, a news portlet that's showing the news about RHQ, discovery queue which was named the other discovery portlet in the past, um, a portlet about recent alerts, some recent added resource portlet, operations, has alerts, so basically what you know from previous versions. When we go um, on inventory here, we see on the left side the two boxes, one that shows the resources and resource tree and a second one for the groups. So we can click on platforms here and we see our platform. So this is basically not, not really new. Let's enhance the types a little bit. When you click on the icon or on the name here, um, you end up in the, the view that you know. On the left side the resource tree for that platform and on the right um, the usual tabs that we have. So we have a summary tab, we have um, a dashboard that's uh, basically the, the, the important data for that resource that is still in this um, version the old um, JSF page which will Re replaced by, by GWT. Then when you go on monitoring you see the, the graphs. As previously and so on. A new thing here is the tag. So you click on the plus sign and you can give a tag like um, production which means this is a production resource. And when you go back to the dashboard here, you see here this production in the tech cloud. You can click on it and then in the reports section you end up here in the subsystem with the tags. And here we have the tag production. And this should now show our host, but uh, obviously it's not yet ready. Um, you also see other subsystem views that used to be in the top menu like suspect metrics or recent alerts. And um, what else is there to, sh to see? The bundles view that you probably know al already. So we can define a new bundle. We upload a file. Generated bundle.zip. Go on next. We're done. The bundle contains everything, so we can finish. So we have the bundle here. No destinations yet, but our version 1.0. Again, this can be tagged in some way. Bundles. So, when I want to deploy that, I can do it. It asks me a few things, and here it, I, it wants to select a group. We need a group. We don't have a group to show, so we go back. Cancel. Go to the inventory, groups, compatible group, and start a new group, which is um, Max as a name. Next step is um, such resources of a certain category like this one and we add it to the group. Now we have a group with this one machine. Can go back to bundles and now deploy it in our group which is max now slash tmp Next, 
So version to deployed, we only have 1.0. Next. No config files, no nothing to do, so next. Testing. Next. Create a deployment. Deployment scheduled. And uh, deployment is done. It's a failure in our case. Why is it? Probably because I made a typo. So we can ah, okay now when I double cl double click on it, we see the the history here for deployment, and here it says failure. So you can see why it went wrong here. It's probably not the best. Uh, explanation with the stack trace but yes anyway and last but not least we have the administration view where you have um, users roles system configuration and some HA uh, information and when you log out you will come back here to this login screen